Hello. Today I will be trying to upgrade my RC car to a higher power. I will keep the same electrical motors, which are two in this case. I will remove the old receiver and the reason for that is because my steering mechanism, which was here, got broken and if I buy the same steering mechanism, I will only be able to use it with this receiver and this receiver doesn't allow me to add more power. This receiver works with 7.4 volts and you need to buy a manufacturer's spare part, the steering mechanism, which looks like this. It has instead of three wires, six wires, which is not a standard for many RC cars. If you want to have something upgradable, you need to use something that looks like this with three wires which go to a electronic speed controller. So I will be using a new electronic speed controller on this car, which will replace this receiver. And I also had to find a new steering mechanism, which was a difficult task because the manufacturers usually want people buy their own spare parts. So I tried buying several steering mechanisms, like this one for example, which was too big for this car, and uh, finally I found something like this and it fits the space here but not 100% so I will have to apply some solution to install it here so that it doesn't move. Also one thing to keep in mind is the axles of this steering mechanism so they could be of different diameter. In this case for example I had two parts, this one is much bigger this one is smaller and this one actually fits this part here so I can put it inside by attaching this arm that will move the wheels to the right and to the left so now I'm activating my electronic speed controller which is connected to the new receiver which I will install in this car instead of this receiver here and uh, this electronic speed controller will also allow me to add more voltage to this car. I could burn the electrical motors here, which can work with 7.4 volts, but I will try. I will add an 11.1 volt battery. So this is how it would work. So you see the wheels are moving. So once I have it fixed in here, it should work. So let's see how we do it. So now I have this electronic speed controller connected to these two electrical motors. I've got the cables and added some connectors to them. And this electronic speed controller has two outputs per each electric motor. You can find also other electronic speed controllers, like this one for example, which has only one output. And as in the original receiver, I had also two outputs per each electric motor, I use here the same logic. The logic of how you connect the electronic speed controller to the electric motors is explained in my previous videos. You can check those videos as well. So now let's check how it works. I will turn on the electric speed controller now. And normally you should hear some sounds that would mean that electronic speed controller is recognizing the motors. This sound usually means that it has not recognized the electric speed controllers. Let's turn on the remote control now. And let's turn off the electric speed controller. This is also explained in my previous videos. This thing may happen. So you will just need to reinitiate the electric speed controller. And this sound meant that the electronic speed controller has, has recognized the electrical motors. Now let's try to accelerate. And as you can see, 
both electric motors work fine and they are kind of synchronized now I connected this another battery which is 11.1 volts trying to recognize the electrical motors and it's not doing it and it did not recognize it so we need to reinitiate the electronic speed controller again turning it off and turning it on again I can see that we get power but when we turn it on nothing's happening it could be that the battery is discharged in such situations this voltage meters come in handy you can just plug in your battery and check what's going on with this battery if I plug it in here I get no reaction nothing's happening in these cases you will have to have another battery and check if your voltmeter is working so I have here the same 11.1 volt battery let's check if it would show anything In this case, I get indication of the voltage. And it's also below the necessary limit, so that I'll have to charge one of these batteries and try again. In this case, when I connected this battery to the charger, it tells me that the voltage is too low and it won't be able to charge this battery so this battery actually was dead so I'll use another one okay now I have connected another charged 11.1 volt battery and let's see how it goes now turning it on and as you can see the cooling system has started working I don't know if you noticed uh, the cooling system didn't work when I connected this electronic speed controller to the dead battery but now it does and again the electronic speed controller did not recognize the electrical motors let's try again the remote control is off and it didn't recognize it again I've noticed that still it's important to turn on the remote control first. Now let's turn on the electronic speed controller. And again it didn't work. Let's try again. And now this time it did work. You heard the sound. So now it has recognized the, the electric motors. And when I accelerate, it works. I won't accelerate it to the highest speed level because we don't know if we're gonna burn the motors or not. For now I'm gonna put everything together. I'll put the steering mechanism here also and then assemble the car and see how it will work. One of the challenges would be to fix in its place the steering mechanism because it doesn't have the same shape as the original part. The original part was fixed with this plastic part, like this. But I think I am lucky here because if I turn this part upside down and fix it with screws in this way, it will exert enough power on this steering mechanism so that the steering mechanism will not be able to move anywhere. In addition, I could use a little bit of silicone in some spaces here to make sure it doesn't move to different directions. Now I have put two screws and squeezed this plastic towards the steering mechanism and it looks like it worked and I think it's pretty stable inside, it doesn't move. And when I try to move the wheels let's see what happens it looks like it works so 
So a little bit of imagination helps to apply different solutions here. The next steps would be to put back these parts here, making sure we have cables outside to connect them to all necessary components. The way we put these things together have been shown in my previous videos, but in this case we will be using different parts now. The plastic is the same, but we removed the original receiver. We'll have the cables outside here, and we'll try to accommodate this new component here, the new electronic speed controller. And up to now I've been lucky, it looks like this component also fits inside of this plastic part really well. And we'll see what I get in the end.